So here we have the trigonometric function sine of 80. So let's try to find out the Laplace transform of this given function. So before that, what we're going to do, we're going to convert sine of 80 to its Euler form, which is e raised to the power of i times 80 minus e raised to the power of negative i times 80 over 2i. So finding the Laplace transform of sine of 80 is equivalent to finding the Laplace transform of e raised to the power of i t i a t minus e raised to the power of negative i times a t all divided by 2 i. Now we're going to use the property of the linearity of the Laplace transform. So we have 1 over 2 i times Laplace transform of e raised to the power of i a t minus 1 over 2 i times Laplace transform of e raised to the power of negative i a t. Now we know that Laplace transform of e raised to the power of a t is simply given by 1 over s minus a. So let's use it. So we have 1 over 2 i times. So the Laplace transform will be 1 over s minus a so a here is i times a minus 1 over 2 i times 1 over s minus of negative i a now we're going to combine it so we'll have 1 over 2 i as the common factor so we have s minus i a multiplied to s plus i a and in the numerator, we have s plus i a minus of s minus i a. So that gives us 1 over 2 i times s plus i a minus s plus i a divided by s squared minus i a whole squared. So here we, we have used the identity a minus b times a plus b equals a squared plus b squared. Now we know that i squared is equal to negative i, so that gives us s squared minus i squared a squared is going to give us s squared plus a squared. So we have 1 over 2i, so the s and negative s gets cancelled, so we have 2i a divided by s squared plus a squared. So 2i gets cancelled from both the numerator and the denominator and we get the final Laplace transform of the sine function. So Laplace transform of sine of a t will be equals to a over s squared plus a squared.